So for today's nail design, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need an LED or UV lamp, and you're going to need a base coat and top coat. I'm using Die Hard Nails or DIY Hard Nails. The color that I'm using today is Sun Glow, and it's a color changing polish. It changes from a red tone to an orange tone, and it has glitter in it. You are also going to need black and white acrylic paint, or you could use fingernail polish, or you could use gel polish. You are also going to need a striping brush, which looks like this, and a dotting tool. This is the one that I use today. You may also want to use a palette like this, just a piece of plastic, something that you can put your paint on to work off of easier, and water to clean up your brush as you're going along. And then rubbing alcohol to clean up the dispersion layer. And then paper towels, of course, on hand in case you need them. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and start with your base coat and cure that. Next, you're going to want to do two to three coats of your color. I'm using Sun Glow, making sure to cure in between each coat. Once you've got the color built up, go ahead and remove the tacky layer with rubbing alcohol. So for this design, I'm going to be using acrylic paint. I'm just going to go ahead and put that onto a plastic surface. Anything you have will work. I'm also going to be using a striper. I want to thin out this paint a little bit, so I'm just going to be using some water, which I have here. And I'm just going to be dragging that until I get the consistency that I like to work with. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and load up my brush and then I want to do this in a little bit of a V at the top and then bring it down into a single line. So I'm just going to pick the center-ish of my finger, go ahead and pull that down, and then making my little V, go ahead and grab some more paint. And then just go ahead and fill that in. I'm going to do the same thing to the ring finger. Now using a dotting tool we're going to do the head. I'm just going to pick up some of that black paint onto my dotting tool and I'm just going to do a round design here at the tip. Of course you can do this with a brush if you prefer. Okay, go ahead and let that dry. So we're also going to need a little bit of white for this next step. Now taking that same dotting tool, we're just going to make a couple of little, we're just going to make some eyeballs. We can go ahead and do our spots for our ladybugs. Going back into the black with the dotting tool. Once the acrylic paint has dried completely, go ahead and add your top coat and cure, making sure to cap the ends. Once the top coat's cured, go ahead and clean off the tacky layer. I'm using rubbing alcohol 